Hello everyone, it's Audrey from Odds and Ends, and it's Shopping Saturday. Um, just sharing a few things that I picked up, um, either by mail or thrift store or local. So first of all, my husband, <laughs> every week I'll have a little note taped to the bedroom door. He's like, you know, um, filming, shh, you know, don't come in, whatever, don't interrupt. And he's like, why don't you buy an on-air light? And there are much cuter ones. If you have access to a plug outside your door, um, there's very, very, very cute retro neon ones. But I don't have any power source in my hallway and I didn't want to run electrical. This particular one does have a USB um, mini USB cord to it, but it also takes three triple A's. Triple A is so much easier and it's very lightweight. It's hung on my door. Um, if you look at my community tab, you can see a photo of it's on. It's got two settings, a low and a bright. It's perfectly bright. So, um, I picked that up Amazon, um, cheap. I don't know. It was like, I want to say 16 dollars something like that it might be 17 something like that i went to harbor freight to go buy some more bead boxes and i'm just getting three and this is for um the budget bead um monthly things and these are only in here temporarily until i use the kits so i figured okay three months and then once i use up a lot of the stuff in the things they i can incorporate them in my regular boxes of beads, the leftovers. So I just peeled off the labels from each one of the baggies and put the beads in here so I would know what they were. And I do much better open storage than I do in little baggies. I'll never use them that way. And the paperwork that went with it fits perfectly in there, folded. So that's the peach that was August and I'll have September, October, and then I have to either buy more or use them, my beads up. So hopefully I will have used up at least one month of the beads before I run out of space. Um, on Thursday, I went, I went to Staples and um, I picked up another five by seven and I am going to, um, it's not technically a book of shadows it's more of a <laughs> witchy spell journal type thing i want to put the witch's roots um artwork in there i want to journal i want to doodle um adds you know rituals that worked um journaling in it. It's going to be more of a you know, personal journal type thing with art and stuff to go in there. Um, I picked up these cards. They came out of June Mermaid's um, last box, the wandering one. And I'm not going to use them as a traditional um, oracle card, but they have all different kinds of divina divination. I can't ever say that word. And um, say hi to Marley who insists anything that's on the bed, he has to sit on. So we'll just ignore him. But yeah, they're, they're pendulum, pendulum, plant medicine, all different ones. And I, I'm gonna use them in conjunction with other, with other decks and things, um, not on their own, but more of a, Okay, how am I going to get to that place type thing? And I already had the pocket tarot by the Wild Unknown. And I picked up the, the Wild Unknown po pocket animal spirit um, oracle cards. So, very similar. Um, can't wait to dive into them and use them. I picked up these four pictures from the thrift store. I've been eyeing them for a while. And well, <laughs> they're really happy art prints and they're good weight to them. They were originally 
$7.99 at Linens, Anna's Linens, and that's been out of business for a while. And compare it, $12 is what the list price is. And it's a set of four. And the price on these were, can't even focus into that, $3. But blue was 75% off today, so I got each one of these for $0.75. Cents. They're brand new. There's nothing wrong with them. I have to find a place um, on my wall to hang them up. Um, or I'm going to give them to someone if I can't find something. But obviously palm trees are very Vegas. So I probably hang them up unless one of my friends says, oh my God, I have to have them. You know, then I will huh, I'll obviously share them with them. Um, okay, I went to the library today. And I was looking for a, not necessarily low carb, but low GI index cookbook. And I couldn't find one. And I know diabetics eat a very low GI, or are supposed to eat a low GI diet. So I picked up the Diabetic Cookbooks for Dummy and the Diabetic and Carb Counting Dummies book. Now I had a coworker older than me, um, when she finally decided to take her diabetes seriously and follow the guidelines, she dropped weight quickly. I'm like, okay, if she can do it and she's 15 years older than I am, then I can do it. So I, I figured I'm gonna go read these books. I mean, it's not gonna hurt. I'm probably pretty close to pre-diabetic at this weight right now as it is. So figured, okay, I, I really should do that. So um, picked up to Freebie Vegas um, magazines. And um, I always use my shop small bag when I go to the library so I don't have to carry all the um, things to my car in my hands. Um, I had stuff coming in the mail today and I'm wondering if it'll still come because it's only, oh, well, it's almost seven now. So I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah. So for my binder that I have, I have, I had green and pink paper. I was out of white. I really like the five by seven sheets. Um, I use my budgeting journal, um, that sheet. Here is the sheet protectors, which will be really good for the artwork and some graph paper. And will you get off of those before you ruin them? <laughs> and two binder pockets for little things that I want to keep and not lose. And I think that's everything that I picked up today. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> These are so freaking tiny. Now, online, they don't look so tiny. I'm not 100% sure. It's for a craft project I have in mind. It's going to work, but oh my goodness, these are going to be hard to use. So, but <laughs> I really like the bright colors. They're epoxy covered metal. Um, then they're the split rings. And I'm just, well, I guess they're O rings. They're not split. But we'll see how they work. If they don't work out, then I just go buy normal size eye hooks instead of these itty bitty tiny ones. So I hope you all had a good Saturday and I might see you again tomorrow if the mailman comes because um, I have a package coming in from uh, the Witch's Roots, well, Witch's, Witch's Moon, it's two past boxes of the Witch's Roots and a little um, mini statue, statuette from them. And I have two things from Amazon coming tomorrow. Um, but if not, if they don't come tomorrow, then I'll do, I'll see you on Monday. So say good night, Marley. Yeah. Okay. He's a log. Let's just lay on mom's stuff and yeah. So have a good night and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, and tomorrow I'm going to go join the gym. Okay. My vow to all of you. I have to do it now. Okay, bye.